And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. With temperatures running 25 to 35 degrees colder today compared to yesterday, the January thaw is now just a distant memory. And when you factor in the wind chill compared to yesterday's temperature, the change is even more abrupt. It feels 50 to 55 degrees colder outside today than it did yesterday. And now that the cold air is here, it's here to stay. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. We're going to see a high of 11 tomorrow, 17 on Sunday, lower 20s for Monday and Tuesday, a little bit colder on Wednesday, and then it looks like we will start to warm up again as we move towards next weekend. Right now we are looking at a mixture of single digits and teens across northeast Wisconsin. It is currently 13 degrees in Oshkosh. Meanwhile, in Mountain, the temperature is now down to eight. In the valley, it is 12 with north winds at around five to 10 miles per hour. In Green Bay, we're looking at mostly clear skies. The temperature is 13 degrees with northwest winds at around 10 miles per hour. So the winds have diminished quite a bit from what we had earlier this afternoon, but wind chills are still near zero or below just about everywhere. It feels like five degrees below zero in Sturgeon Bay, and those wind chills will be dropping as we head throughout the night into tomorrow morning. Most of us can expect wind chills down into the teens below zero, but wind chills in the 20s below zero are likely across parts of central and northern Wisconsin. Once again, we are looking at that wind chill advisory for Langlade County. Lots of sunshine across the Badger State today as high pressure slowly works in from the north and west. This system will control our weather for the rest of tonight, tomorrow, and the first part of Sunday, bringing us very cold temperatures. What you see here is what you get for the next couple of days. Highs mainly running a good 10 to 15 degrees below normal for this time of year. You can see I'm forecasting a high right around 11 tomorrow. The normal high temperature for tomorrow is 24 degrees, but you got to factor in that wind chill as well. Wind chills will be at or below zero most of the day. Here's a look at uh, four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Quite frigid outside. Skycast shows abundant sunshine tomorrow morning. High pressure moving over the state. We'll have clear skies tomorrow night. High pressure still controlling our weather into Sunday morning. We'll start the day with mostly sunny skies, but then clouds will thicken up as we move into the afternoon. And then as we make our way into the evening and overnight hours, we're going to watch an Alberta Clipper system make its way in from Canada. And this system is going to produce accumulating snow across the state starting Sunday night, continuing through Monday, going into early Tuesday. Right now, it looks like it will produce significant snowfall across central and eastern Wisconsin. I'm thinking many spots will see several inches or more, but with northeast winds developing, we're going to see some lake enhancement as well, and that could boost totals even more. So we'll have to fine tune the forecast as we get a little bit closer, but Monday is definitely looking like a snowy day across eastern Wisconsin. Tonight, clear and cold with frigid wind chills. Lows will be in the single digits below zero. Tomorrow, sunny and cold with a high right around 11 degrees. Sunday morning will be in the single digits below zero just about everywhere. 17 for a high, thickening clouds. Snow develops Sunday night. It continues throughout the day on Monday with gusty winds tapers off to some snow showers early Tuesday with a high temperature right around 20 degrees. Colder weather behind that Alberta Clipper for Wednesday with a high of 15 after a morning low of five below. But then we will warm up again for Thursday and Friday. It looks like another January thaw Cassandra moving in for next weekend with highs getting back up into the 30s, maybe even a few lower 40s. Bundle up if you have to go outside this weekend. Yes, though. cold this weekend. Snow returns on Monday. Just up and down all the time, yeah. right? <laughs> all right, thanks so much, Cameron. Well, still ahead, January is Radon Action Month. What you should know about this dangerous gas 